The definition of coward is a person who lacks the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things, or excessively afraid of danger or pain. And finally, in animalistic terms, it is depicted with the tail between the hind legs. And in this video, I am going to depict all of those traits in one of the internet's biggest cowards, in my opinion, with so much around him but so little to follow afterwards, that being Hassan Piker. But I must say first and foremost, hey yo, I'm toasted, uh, ideas, and here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right, while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, to continue forward, I must start this off with a clip of his favorite phrase in the past couple years or so. Transphobic, 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 transphobia, transphobic, 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 transphobes, transphobic, 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 transphobic. That's right it. But what I am going to start this topic off with is how he calls anyone and everyone who he disagrees with a transphobe, or in other words, in better terms actually, he just flings crap in every other direction than to admit when he himself is wrong, cause I think he fears social danger when it comes to targeting him. My issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't super well versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing he might bring up transphobic shit, you aren't exactly a vosh of trans debates. Fair point. Let's see how humble his response is. I hope. I hope that the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day, okay? There you go. Suck my dick. He doesn't explain his own ineptitude. He just goes off the rip and tells the trans person to suck him off because, I, I don't know, just because he disagrees with complaint. Or, as I would put it, he is weak. And my reason for saying that is because he has clearly shown that he is incapable of admitting when he is wrong. And I believe that it is not strength to hide failure, but instead weakness to hide that. He lacks courage to endure unpleasant feelings. So what does he do when he does? He just flings crap in every other direction than himself. That being calling them a transphobe, racist, or Nazi. Hassan, instead of choosing to watch Adam's video and learn more about the conflict, decided to just call Adam a Nazi. Adam something posted a 40 minute video about how Gravel lies about Azov, so a bunch of Euro sock dems might come in here being fucking annoying. Dude, I'm sorry to say this, but you know, Europeans and fucking being secret crypto neo-Nazis goes hand in hand sometimes, okay? Furthermore, when Jay finally made a video articulating why some of Hassan's reactions aren't fair use and why his excuses suck, Hassan in return calls Jay a Nazi, all while making stuff up about them. Since then he made a video, or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream. Jay's trans, why would Jay be a Nazi? It happened a year ago, a year ago, like really fucking adamantly. And it's really funny just to know that, no, it didn't. And he says, I had so Nazis good. get together on a kill stream. This is, this is what happened apparently. Just to be clear, right? This is a bunch of libs getting on, together on EFAP in a capacity with which I was not involved in any way. Like, a, a group of predominantly libs do an EFAP, which I am just not fucking involved in. He is summed up as, I arrange a stream of killstream Nazis to go over his thing. <laughs> to go over his stream. Now, continuing on with another example of him being a coward in where he talks about deleting X because he couldn't stand people being angry at his god-awful take on the hardships within the working world. I worked in sales, so it was like a very social <laughs> job as well. So I know exactly what like yeah. people pleasing mm. looks like and it's like fucking annoying and awful, right? Mm. So I was making a comparison between like my experience as a salesperson versus my experience as a Twitch streamer. And I was like, it's so soul sucking. Like it's so soul crushing and I can't 
socialize after that and i feel so bad because i was talking about going to march's house march had a housewarming party none of you guys were invited I, these are he, not cool i was invited and i didn't remember until yesterday i was there right and i brought kaya and she was being the best girl but i also felt like i was looking like an asshole to every single person because i was like pouting the whole time i'm really fucking tired mm. i take one drink well, with it's march. always the hassan show <laughs> I, I take one drink with and i, was well, like, I have to get the out of here like I, i'm so i'm so tired you got led me to actually uh delete twitter what? i deleted twitter from my phone and you know what kudos to him for deleting x because everyone should do that as it's just a complete and utter cesspool of garbage but for starters here he's a coward because he deletes x only off of his phone when you know he could just not go on his phone to start off with like He's such a coward that he even half asses his own solution to his own problems. And then grandstand about all the hate he got for saying that his job is more socially taxing than a regular job. You know, his job that he willfully does and could stop doing for a couple of days because he is that, he is in that privileged position where he can do that. But no. My apologies, because apparently being social at a drinking party is more important than knowing if you're going to be bringing in enough money for rent this month, or for food, or just the essentials. Anywho, I think Abba speaks perfectly clearly on what everyone else is thinking about Hassan in that clip. You just might not be built for this lifestyle. Doesn't make the job hard. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, some of you content creators are brittle as f mm. And Hassan has gotta be the most brittle person. He's always crying and whining and about the fact that people are cre It's so unfair, people just hate me. Like, shut up. I, I, oh, I, I, shut I, up, you're just brittle. The job's not hard, you're soft. And so in full, what have I outlined here and why I think he is a coward? Well, for starters, he's weak and doesn't take accountability for his misdeeds, he acts like he's unable to endure unpleasant feelings, even though he quote-unquote seeks out criticism. I'm an idiot. Yes. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. Yes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, yes. I've gotten numb to the criticism. Like, it's not. It's I. As a matter of fact, I seek it out now. Kind of like how he sought out criticism when he actively didn't take accountability when a trans person called him out for being ill-prepared when bringing on a quote-unquote well-known transphobe. I wasn't there. I don't know who it was. Anywho. And then... From that calling out, he, one, banned that person, two, said how their life should be horrible, and three, told him to suck his staff of inferiority, and fourthly, just dumbed down their entire existence to that person being just a trans person. Nothing less and nothing more. And finally, he still didn't take accountability. And now for the final point on why I think he is a coward, he deleted X because he was getting hate comments. So much for that I seek out criticism spiel that he went on. But I think that that's just about enough on this topic of how I find Hassan Piker to be a coward. And you tell me, do you disagree and find me to be a transphobe, racist, or Nazi due to my take? Or perhaps you'll agree with my take. Either way, I'd like to find you down in the comments making statements that are open to discourse. But while you're down there, perhaps you could consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag. And also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video in so that they might join the bread box as well. Cause once again, we need more bread. But either way, I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, have a good one.